All right, test, test, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to the live stream. Where are we at? Where are we at? We are at 10 p.m. October 22nd, 2018. We are back to the 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time schedule. So that's Monday through Friday, live, 10 p.m. to normally about 11 p.m. But, you know, sometimes we might have a 30-minute stream, so 10.30 or... You know, just depends on uh, how the how the flow is going for everything. And it looks like my stream labs is actually uh, running a little bit behind because it says we have zero people watching, but there's people commenting in the chat. So, welcome guys, Zar420, Bitcoin Jake, Quantify Mining, XMR Nick, uh, Yaz Nick, uh, J Bohannon, I am Surreals, Bitcoin Jake, Robert Burns, Mr. Fubrix. Quantify Mining and Craig Heal. Good day, Brennan. It's Frankenstein 1060. Tale of two cards. 1070 memory with... P yeah, yeah, it's definitely a Franken card for sure. Um, hey, SG Crypto Rigger. Welcome to the chat. Uh, we are first just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. This is the elephant in the room. A lot of people have been talking about it. It's a GTX 1066 gig, but they're going to ship it with GDDR5X. So, guys, remember that's the memory that comes on the 1080s. 1080 Ti's uh, and what the Titan XP's I believe uh, I don't know about the Titan XP's but I, I, one of those one of those um, but yeah it definitely comes on the 1080's and the 1080 Ti's that's the one without the the ETH pill or ETH largement pill is pretty useless for Ethereum but once you you get that uh, ETH largement pill they turn into little Ethereum monsters so does that mean the 1060 is going to be a lot better at, at mining Ethereum we, we don't know uh, but one thing I do know is let me let me cruise through here a little bit. I, I've already kind of checked it out. They're actually updating the chip on it. Also, the chip is going to be um, a GP one or a GP one hundred four, which is out of a ten seventy. And I I don't know if it's maybe a one that didn't pass for a ten seventy, and they're you you're utilizing them for a ten sixty. Uh, so you may not even get the actual performance of the GP one hundred four. Um, but it is confirmed that they are going to have the 5X and the 6 gigabyte variant. It doesn't look like you're going to get a 3 gig um, GDDR 5X, only a 6 gig. Uh, I don't know if they're maybe trying to dump off and get rid of the rest of their GDDR 5X and not use it on the 20 series line. But um, it almost seems like this this setup was supposed to be like the 2060, but um, maybe they're you know just gonna pump out these 1060s and work on a better 2060 I'm always I'm always I'm happy with that um, a lot of people are speculating that this is exactly or this is gonna be like they're pumping this up to meet the RX 590 that's coming out I don't know uh, I just know that on the GPU side and gaming side it's probably not gonna make big waves but on the mining side this could be this could be big so that could take the uh, 1060 from being a 21 mega hash card maybe to a 30 mega hash card, considering it's going to have the the GP 104 and the GDDR 5X. So um, we'll definitely we'll we'll be back and forth about that and uh, see what people have to say once we get through the regularly scheduled stuff. Um, Zar420 said, "Are you going to get one, Brandon? I would absolutely get one just for the fact of trying it out. Um, I'm always open for uh, up for that, you know." Um, Jeff Key, evening folks, welcome guys. D Tech, random crypto. Um, any card with GDDR5X, uh, the 1080 and 1080 Ti right now. Yeah, secret recipe. They're just trying to sell off 10 series boards. Yeah, I, th I think they're probably trying to dump off 10 series cards uh, and also that 5X because I don't think they're going to put any 5X in the 20 series. Um, let's see here. Alright, we'll get back to that for sure. Um, and guys, I'll put this link down below in the description after the video processes and uploads. So if you're watching this after the fact, it will already be down below. But if you're watching this live, um, it will be over in the side. So you can click on it and kind of look at the hard specs there. Alright, now let's, uh, let's check out the market. We're looking at a $6,400 Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down a little bit. Uh, Two hundred and four dollar Ethereum. Ethereum still lost in the woods. Uh, Litecoin's at fifty two dollars. Monero's at one hundred five. Ethereum Classic's at ten dollars. Finally, Ethereum Classic is back in the ten dollar range. Um, so for today, it looks like we had a little bit up, a little bit down. 
I'm not really going to light that green candle and definitely not going to light that red candle because um, I'm not considering today being a bull run or a, a, a bear. It, it definitely wasn't a green day or a red day. It's, it's a good mix. Um, for Ether 1, Ether 1 actually uh, went back down to 386 Satoshis. We're at two point, almost 2.5 cents. Let's refresh it. Oh, there it is, 2.5 cents. So it was 2.7 cents yesterday. Um, Ether 1... Come on, buddy. You can do it. Keep Get up there. We need to see a 5 cent Ether 1 for sure. Um, now, for the daily hash rates of all the graphics cards that I have, if, you haven't, if you're new to the channel, this is a breakdown of one of each and every di different graphics card that I own. Um, and the way it works is the GPU is right here. This is the percentage of change in 24 hours. That's what it's making today. It's what it was making yesterday. The coin or algorithm it's on. And then the speed and Satoshi value it's making per day. Now, um, some guys, I left these cards on Ether 1 because I want. I was I was wondering if everybody was going to jump off of Ether 1 since the block reduction was hitting. So I was thinking maybe I could pick up some profits. Like, even though the block reward went down, if enough people got off, then I would make more technically. But that's not the case. It actually looks like we're making less than, consistently less than uh, what we have been making on Ether 1 for all these cards. Um, the 1052 gig never really dipped under 20 cents mining Ether 1, and we're doing 19 cents a day right now. Um, so, just food for thought there. Now, everything that was on Ethereum Classic saw a good 4 to 5% rise. Can't argue with that. Ethereum Classic's still a good little mine, but by no means are these coins the most profitable to mine right now. Um, it looks like probably Ravencoin. If you're if you're hunting for daily profits, uh, Ravencoin right now is like it was booming last night. And I also know the Skunk algorithm on NiceHash Legacy was also booming. It's going crazy. Uh, Raven was six cents today. Secret recipe. Yeah, Raven Raven is doing out of this world. Um, I'm gonna be flipping some stuff over, and uh, yeah. Roderick Crawford, maybe not green for you. The bird is falling out of the air fast. Oh, what is Raven at right now? What are we at, Raven Coin? We're at 5.3 cents. So Raven's still up pretty high, but I mean, you know, a 7 cent Raven Coin that fast wasn't sustainable to begin with. Let's look at that, uh, that 7 day. Look at that. Boom, Raven Coin just pumping so if you had some raven coin might be time to get rid of it a little bit buy it back in at the bottom jeff key says the difficulty on raven coin went up to ninety thousand. It was thirty thousand last week i don't doubt it at all don't chase raven difficulty way up okay well i, I guess it was good that i haven't jumped over to raven then because everybody's on raven last bit mining another 1060 doesn't mean much Last bit mining, it's an interesting 1060 though. They're giving it a little bit faster memory and a better uh, core, a better chip. Um, not necessarily more CUDA cores, but an upgraded one. Doesn't make sense, but we can try it. Oh, I didn't see that. Anonymous bat. That's cool. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so if you want to take a look at this, uh, the, the chart here, you can go ahead and pause the live stream or pause the video if you're watching it after the fact. And uh, yeah, so the 1080 Ti is about five cents. It's a nickel away from being a dollar a day. In other news, let's go over to the deal of the day. The AC, uh, the ASUS B250 Mining Expert is an 1151 socket motherboard. Uh, it's down to 74.95, and this is the motherboard that you have to be careful what cards you actually plug in where. It's got a diagram and all that kind of stuff power supply you can run what three different power supplies off this and it's just a monster monster mining motherboard um i don't have one of these but this may be what i need to eventually gravitate or graduate to because uh seems like everybody's running these you know these big multi multi um minor boards for sure uh 74.95 it's hard to argue with with that many pci slots for sure uh, the Amazon affiliate link is down below in the description. If you use that, it does help me out. Um, you don't even have to buy this motherboard. If you click through my link and then use the Amazon window that comes up, I'll get credit for anything, anything you buy. Um, for example, yesterday, somebody bought a lot of protein bars under my Amazon affiliate link, and I appreciate you. 
Thank you. We'll keep that protein going up for sure. Uh, now let's jump over to Twitter. We're at 148 followers, so we're gaining them slowly, steadily and slowly. Uh, if you want to follow me at BrandonCoin1, you can keep up to date with everything that's going on. Find out if the show is actually happening. If it's not happening, I try to actually keep up to date on my Twitter. I know. Uh, I never used Twitter before at all, and now I'm just, you know, Twittering it up. Um, let's see here. Let's look at a rig of the day, but I was just looking at the chat. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's see if we got a rig of the day. Hi, Brennan. Made this video just for you. Please watch. Uh, that's not a rig of the day. 60 card farm rig of the day j crow my wife is mad at you oh man just from jt mining okay i'm not real good at this so i'm gonna give you a picture of all my mining stuff and then i'll give you one rig at a time we'll start off with homemade wooden frame that i started with in the very beginning january 13th and it has four 1050s it used to have eight cards using the u-bit four-way splitter here are some pictures i will i will be giving you a lot more soon as i can I'm going to need some help from your community as soon as I figure out the time. I'm fighting SMOS and some cards not showing up after a week. Huh, that's that's odd. We can definitely help you out. I worked two jobs and started mining under a business name, so my time is a little crazy trying to put my kids through college and take care of my 75-year-old father. Oh, man, sounds like you got a lot going on. Um, thank you for everything that you do and encouraging and always positive. Man, uh, if we're not here to be positive, I don't know... Yeah, if you ain't got nothing good to say, then don't say nothing. So if I'm saying something, it's going to be relatively good, I guess. Unless it's bad. But then I do say stuff sometimes when it's bad. I don't know. I need to follow my own advice sometimes. Um, wow. Okay. So I see you like your uh, your flat rate boxes there. Which, uh, guys in the U.S., this is a little... It's kind of a, a, a known secret, but... Uh, the UPS flat or USPS flat rate boxes are free on the U.S. Postal Service's website. You you order them to your house; they'll come free, no shipping. You can order a bunch at a time, and then you can do stuff like this with it. I mean, he made a whole baffle system, and he's you know controlling his airflow uh, all with USPS boxes. So if you need cardboard boxes, USPS is the way to go uh, for sure. Man, you got a bunch of stuff in here. Thanks, Brandon, for getting me addicted. 60 cards, 7 rigs, 1 Z9 Mini, and building another rig next week. Wow, you have taken it to the next level. I am uh, I'm happy to see you're, you're, uh, you're getting addicted. Uh, I know that's how it happened for me, and I would probably would have a ton more if only my, my budget would allow it. Let's see here. Uh, with UBIT, it used to have 8. 7 10 52 gigs and one 10 60 now I only have four 10 50 left oh you're selling off 10 50s oh man we need more pictures of your setup please do and I'm I'm I apologize to mr. J Crow's wife um, sorry I got him addicted but uh, there's worse things to be addicted to for sure so Thank you for sharing that. I do appreciate it there. And let me see if I'll comment down below and tell you. Um, thank you. We'll need more pics of this, please. And featured on, what's today's date? 10 22 Smiley face. Comment. The new Reddit is still tripping me up. Yashnik, warm in there, Brandon. Yes, it's a little warm in here. Um, I actually have my fan going. Um, outside's probably in the 40 degree range, and I need it to be colder, like, ASAP. Because, uh, actually, I have my thermometer gun right here. What's the temperature in here? Woo! Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's 80 on the ceiling. And it's uh, 74 on the floor. So uh, a little warmer than I'd like. I usually like it around the 70 range. And uh, so, yeah, so a little warm in the house. Um, and I, deal, I, stu I still do have uh, upstairs in the mining cave a, um, a fan 
sucking or blowing air into the sucking air into the house cold air from directly outside so um, I have a lot more heating potential than what I'm currently doing at the moment uh, Detect, yeah definitely go live after me and guys this is the part of the show where we're gonna transition over to the uh, back and forth open mic night you know ask me a question um, we'll kind of talk about crypto and, and look at some stuff so um, if you don't appreciate or like that kind of you know content then uh, i'll see you on tomorrow's video and thank you for coming out make sure to leave a like thumbs up uh comment you know all that kind of stuff video interaction is is huge on youtube so it does help me out um even just leaving a comment being like uh you know hey your room's dirty like I, dude i used to get that comment so much clean your room uh anyway let's let's see let's catch up on the live chat uh, yeah, D Tech, you should definitely go live after me. I'll jump on there, and I know some other people will too. Uh, Yaznik, warm and yeah, it was warm. Let's see here. Secret recipe. Hey, how I see it is not many hobbies make money, so it's got to be a good hobby. Yeah, it's got to be a good hobby. Most hobbies just suck money up, and you never get any money back. SG, so when can we have a view of the mining cave again, Brandon? It's been a while. I did a video just the other day, SG, where I show off the uh, the heating setup. So if you go onto my YouTube, we can actually check it out right now. Um, you can kind of see what's going on in my mining cave. It's a little dirty. I've been moving stuff around. So, um, Oh, boom purple. See, this guy loves to comment on my stuff. Total waste of money. GPU mining is dead. At least 550 cents a day of after power costs. LOL. That's a thousand day ROI. Yep, that's a thousand day ROI, Mr. Boom Purple. He just is not going to understand. Um, right here. This is the. Oh yeah. This is the video where I show you what's going on upstairs in the mining cave. So I'm going to go ahead and. and See, these are the tents. I got two rigs in there, two rigs in there. This, the, these ducting were pulling air outside, but now I have moved it around, so it's pulling air and dumping it downstairs into my living room. Uh, I have another rig which I, I just went by. It's sitting in the corner over here, um, and it's a 1060 rig, six 1060s. Um, and then my other stuff's downstairs. My 1080 Ti's, the 2070. Um, I got some 1050s and a 1060 down here. Chris Ewalt, hey, clean your room. Yeah, I know. Don't look at don't look at this over here in the corner. Oh, the cat's coming through. Yeah, we got some some ducting going around. My girlfriend's complaining. Well, you know, normal stuff, normal stuff for sure. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see some some uh, mining cave updates, definitely check that video out. It was just a couple days ago. I'll put it the link in the description. Jeff Key, ridiculous. What's ridiculous, Mr. Jeff Key? 4G, hey BC, gotta run, have a good one. 4G, thank you for dropping in. I do appreciate you, man, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, for sure. SG, haha, because I remember you said that mining cave is where I'm gonna sleep if I fly over. <laughs> oh, SG, you don't have to sleep in the mining cave, man. You can you can sleep down here. I got a, a, a couch. Um, I actually don't have a spare bed anymore because this is my spare bedroom, and then upstairs is a spare bedroom. You know what? We'll find you a good spot for sure. Is that in your attic? Charlie Quiz. Yes, that is in my attic. Yaznik, pump some heat in them UPS boxes and ship them. <laughs> is it cold over there? Where are you from, uh, Mr. Yaznik? Craig Hill, the total ha network hash rate with nice hash is 7.23 tera hash for Ravencoin. That is insane amounts of power. Uh, any news on Ether One, Chris Ewalt? No, no news on Ether One. They're just they're they're chugging along, doing their thing. Um, they had their block reduction, and um, the profit did go down a little bit, but it didn't take a huge dive. Their network, the hash rate's still pretty strong, so uh, it's going to be a strong coin. It, it's going for sure. Pro Trader Mike, hi Brandon. Sent you an email about the Aon project and research paper that I'm doing. Please take a look at that, Pro Trader Mike. Uh, I'm definitely, I saw your email, uh, we'll be participating, um, and I'm also going to be mining Aeon. Um, actually, I've been talking to Mr. Yaznik up there, and I'm going to be leaving um, at least one rig on Aeon. Aeon's got a lot, of, a lot of good potential, for sure. Jarrett Nash, need life advice. Why did I wuss out and sell my Raven so soon? Oh, no, you sold it? 
Jarrett. Well, see, it's not advice if you're uh, if you're asking why you sold it. It's it's just you know, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, you can always mine some more though. So, yeah. Robert Burns got my payout for my Ether One Masternode seat yesterday, 11.3. Woo, Robert Burns, that's low. Um, I'll have to check on mine for sure. I haven't even checked on it. Yajnik's in Northern Ontario. It's got to be freezing up there. SG Crypto Rigger, any new speculative coins? Quantify mining. Uh, Craig Heel, 1080 Ti is making $1.63. Uh, for Ravencoin, yes, yeah. I mean, everything's more profitable on Ravencoin right now, but um, I don't know how long it's gonna last. So jump on it and get it while you can. Charlie Quiz, you might be do better relocating them to your basement. Man, I wish I had a basement so that way the heat could just rise naturally. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, let's see here. Chris Ewalt, do a video on how to mine Aeon. Uh, Chris Ewalt, man, are you reading my mind? Uh, we're actually, that's that's going to be coming out this next week, is um, the setup, the miners that you use, like all the stuff that's involved with mining Aeon, um, because that's going to be what I'm flipping my Ether 1 rig over to. Gamer DRP, sold my Raven for 750 Satoshis each. That's not a bad, yeah, Gamer DRP, you didn't do bad, bro. I mean, you did miss that big pump, but you still sold off at a good profit. So don't don't be mad about that, and don't be upset. You, you never can get out of the top. Very, very rarely. Let's see here. Raven Rise has been awesome. Pigeon is following. Pro Trader Mike. Stan Wakefield says the payout for a full Ether One Master Node last night was 23.6. Wow, that is super low. Super, super low. Stan Wakefield. Uh, actually, Stan. Stan, I got I got something, something to show you. I, I don't know if I, I, I said it earlier, but bro. Bro, the card's in. Thank you, Stan. Stan Wakefield uh, hooked me up with a GTX 1070 Ti. So that's going to be going on the list here soon. Um, I'm actually relocating some cards off of my uh, test bench rig over here to the side. Well, actually, I have two test bench rigs right now. Um, but I'm taking a 1060, and I'm going to be building out a, another computer for my girlfriend to do some um, light editing on. Uh, she wants to start you know, doing her own thing, which uh, I, I'm not going to highlight that because she doesn't want me to. She wants it to be her own. So in respect to that, I'll keep it separate. But... Um, uh, I was thinking about uh, putting the 1070 Ti inside of my system that's got a 1080 Ti and 1070 Ti together, but I wanted to mine 24-7, so I'm going to put that on the test bench over there. But Stan Wakefield, thank you again. Um, yeah, so we'll have a full official chart on the 10 series like in the next day or two, for sure. Thank you, Stan. Thank you again, bro. Like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, crazy. Blew my mind. Blew my mind, for sure. Um, Savage Mine. I think everyone is doing a How to Mine Aeon video. Yeah, probably. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, let's see here. Quantify Mining. Winky Face. Bitcoin Jake. Stan the man. Yes, Stan is the man. Last bit mining. The mini rig is going to have a new home soon. Where's the mini rig going? Savage. I think every. Uh, I just double read that. Derrickin, I absolutely would love again a series of 1070 Ti cards. Yeah, 1070 Ti's. I've I've heard they are probably the best uh, 10 series cards all the way around for like you know the, the that 10 series generation. I never had one, but I do now. So super excited. Wm need to get a Vega on the chart. Um, Haven Protocol reading nice. SG Crypto Rigger. Oh, okay. Vega on the chart. Yeah, man. I just... The the Vegas, they... They, they seem expensive for what they are. Their price is coming down on everything. So I'm not going to say I'm never going to get one. I'll probably get one when I can find a, a good deal on it. But um, right now, I'm, I'm looking at this newer stuff. 
It's moving into storage locker with free power. Last bit mining, oh my gosh, free power would be amazing. Um, I need to find some free power local to me. But um, does anybody have any comments or questions, concerns with a 1060 with GDDR5X? Um, if that's the case and the, the, the ETH pill actually would work on that, um, that would what? That'd bump it up from a 22 mega hash card up to maybe a, what, 28, 30? Like put it on par with a 1070? Does it have a price yet? Robert Burns for that new 1060. No, there's no price on it yet. But I imagine they wouldn't be undercutting what the potential 2070s are going to be. So they're probably going to keep them in the same price range. What's that, 299 Mr. Fu? Stan Wakefield, if the 1060 is super cheap, it would be nice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If these things come in like dirt cheap, like they're trying to dump them and get rid of their stock, these could be an awesome card to compete with uh, basically the RX 580s, which are, you know, that's your cheap go-to uh, hash mining cards right now. Yeah, 299 it, I mean, that's, you know, that's going to be direct from NVIDIA, so hopefully they'd be cheaper than that. Last bit mining, 570 would still crush it even at 30 mega hash. You're correct, you're correct. SG off to a mindless meeting. See you guys. Subscribe, smash the like button, try to break it, and stalk Brandon Coin. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Thank you for the love there, SG. Have a good meeting, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Czar420. Hey, Brandon, is it better to have device averaging turned on in nice hash? Device averaging? What is that? What is device averaging? I don't even know what that is. Hold on, let me open my nice hash up real quick. Device averaging. Power color Vega 56 on New Egg for 369. Come on, man, spread the love. I know, I know. I, I, I hate to say it, I've always been an NVIDIA guy, but I, I did end up buying the AMD cards because I could not deny the RX series, like their performance per dollar. Um, so I definitely need to jump onto the Vega train, at least to have one or two of them. I just gotta justify it. Maybe that's what I could put in my girlfriend's little her new uh, her new build for sure. Last bit. Have you seen the price of five seventies? Five seventies are flying off the used shelf for like a hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, you can definitely find them. Um, and now I'm looking for this device. What were you asking me? Let's see here. Device averaging on nice hash. Uh, let me see. I don't, I don't see device averaging on here. I'm looking, sorry y'all couldn't see what I was doing. Um, start mining when idle, auto start, GPU fan control, device name, oh, device averaging. Device name, average device benchmarks of the same name, device type, average device benchmarks of the same type, and video cards will mine the same algorithm. Oh, all EVGA, don't average oh okay so um apparently mine has been on device name so that that'll put like evga 1080s together and they all mine the same thing but um hmm normally i would i didn't even know about this because i've never really gone that far into it i'd say none that way every card gets to run through the benchmark it's going to take a lot longer of course to benchmark but then every card gets put on what it's specifically good at because some cards do mine better at other things than than others so uh yeah i maybe try none we'll close that out uh alex gullion what's up man welcome to the live chat xmr nick uh says 189 with a 30 dollar rebate for eight gigabyte 570s yeah they're they're flying off the shelves Robert Burns, any used 580 on eBay sold for 179 free shipping last night, or my used. Based on prices we see, I'm happy with that. Yeah, Robert Burns, the, the prices are going down on the five, 570s and 580s. Charlie Quiz, how well do you think I'll do with my Super Kick Arse GT740? Okay, well the GT740, 
Um, I have a GT640 that I did a little mining on, and it did like, I don't know, two or three pennies a day, I think. So a GT740, probably about the same, maybe two cents a day on like kryptonite, maybe. So R420, I have mine turned off, and each of my cards mine a different algo right now. Well, hey, if they're on different stuff, let them do their thing. Uh, it's trying to keep them all the most profitable they, they possibly can be. So R420. So, GT1060, 6 gig, GDDR5X. I don't know. See, this is like, this is, let's go on to NVIDIA's website. NVIDIA.com. Let's go to shop. We want to shop and we want to buy GeForce graphics cards. Where are we at? Okay, 10 series. 1060, there we go. Alright, so. Do, 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 do. What are we comparing it against? Oh, 960. Okay, so GeForce GTX 1066 gig. Look at this. G 6 gigabyte GDDR5 slash. X. So they're even including it on their official NVIDIA.com website that there is going to be cards that offer that X in the 6 gigabyte variant, which is it's crazy. Beautiful specs. Doesn't really tell us anything else. Um, still got the, uh, the upgraded CUDA cores from the 3 gig. Really, no, nothing else? Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. So, same wattage, TDP, everything. Just uh, showing that, that GDDR5 slash X. Gamer DRP, Brandon Coin, do you think NVIDIA will have a 3 gig and 6 gig 5X? Um, I, I doubt it. They're probably going to just get rid of all the 5X through the 6 gig variants. Mr. Gamer DRP, and they're probably using this to get rid of their 5X because it doesn't make sense to bring the 5X on the 20 series line when they've kind of established that the 20 series is going to be GDDR6, not 5 or even 5X. Um, so, yeah, this this gives them a uh, an avenue to dump them off for sure. Um, and oh, girlfriend, girlfriend waved. Uh, before I forget about it, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can go to the Brandon Coin, BrandonCO.in to get to the Brandon Coin website or uh, BrandonCoinMining.com. They both redirect to um, this website and uh, it's going to be changing around a little bit, but you can go to the how to slash video section. There's going to be some categories. Um, and I'm, I'm going to kind of get that all organized up so it'll be easier to understand. Uh, but like there'll be a computer's basics. You know, we had a couple of those, how to buy GPUs, basics of a mining rig. Uh, but if you want to buy some stickers, you can click on the link, buy stickers. It'll bring you over here to uh, my girlfriend, Magnolia Ray Designs, Etsy shop. And uh, yeah, got some stickers on there, different ones. You can buy any one you want. It does, uh, it does help us out directly. They are made in-house. I appreciate it and um, she appreciates it keeps her busy and they, they keep on similar items Brandon the brontosaurus they keep on trying to refer this to me so I kind of want it now handmade item made to order gift message when available man I kind of want this and I, I want to I want to give this thing away Brandon the brontosaurus the Brandosaur, yeah. Allie the Gator, Richie the Robot. These are all handmade. These are cool. T Rex. Shep the Sheep. This person's got skills. Enlighted Ewe. Skills. But yeah, if you want to buy a sticker, it helps us out. Um, and we appreciate it. There's also a link down below in the video description, so you can buy one down there. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
Last bit mining, it's only 20 bucks, just do it. Last bit mining, I've, I've, I've spent all my just do it money at the moment. Mining rig stuff. Wonder if Verus coin will amount to anything. Verus coin. I've never seen it, Ray Taylor, but we can take a look at it. V R Verus coin. Oh goodness. Time to sapling. Six days, 17 hours, 58 minutes. I don't know what that means. CPU mineable. Varus uses Varus hash, the fastest cryptographic hash algorithm in the world on X64 CPUs, equalizing GPUs and offering a credible ASIC solution. Hmm. Okay. Proof of work, proof of stake, D proof of work. What is that? Incorporates Komodo's DPOW for a secure and highly attack resistant chain. Privacy Vision. Read about the tech and vision for Varus in the vision paper phase white paper. Alright, let's, let's check it out. Um, oh no. No pictures. I'm horrible without pictures. Um, on the surface, I I don't know what we got here. It's already on an exchange. Huh. So if you want to mine it, miners. Is it only for CPUs? Equalizing GPUs. Get various. What's it? What's the price of it? I don't, I don't know. Put him in your mining tent. Yeah, last bit mining. You can show the Brandosaur on the updates since he's green. Yeah, we definitely could. Okay, so various coin today. It looks like we just got got off of a huge pump. There is a massive cell wall right here. Holy smoke. We're in a Grand Canyon on one side and it's uh it's beans and potatoes on the other side, so looks like it's six thousand Satoshis right now. I don't know anything about this coin, but I kinda wanna mine it now. It's I mean it's got volume. It had half a Bitcoin of volume, so what, three grand of volume in the last twenty four hours? That's uh that's like Ether one range. Uh Varus coin. J Crow, what is a good ripple wallet? J Crow, um I was using the Toast wallet for a while on my Android phone, so you can check that out. Uh Exodus also, good wallet. Um just make sure to back up your keys. Thank you for that last bit of mining. Last bit mining, uh, CPU mineable. I knew I wanted to go Threadripper for a reason. Yeah, that ve that Varus. Actually, you know what? Varus coin. Uh, I want to download the miner real quick. CLI miner. I just want to check it out. Well, that wasn't right. Need to mine Varus on a pool now. Let's see here. I'm going to extract this. Close that out. Let's, uh, where are we at? Downloads. What was it called? Uh, NHEQ Miner. N, 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 N. Okay. NHEQ Miner. Okay, so it's just the application, super sketchy. I'd say stay away from Trust Wallet. I lost about 5,000 CLO when they did an update. Ooh, yeah, don't don't mess with Trust Wallet then, I guess. I, I don't have Trust Wallet, so I guess you can't trust it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna fire up this miner. If my stream goes down, um, we are 40 minutes in, so I probably won't start to stream back up, but just know that 
uh, after I go offline, whether it's after I crash right now or it's uh, after we actually get off when we legitimately get off, um, uh, we're going over to DTEC or Ryo's. So uh, Ryo, post up your, your link for your uh, channel and the, and the thing. Brandon Coin, it does Linux. Yeah, I saw that last minute mining. It's got a Linux application. That'd be a, that's that's huge right there, because you could just run it on. Uh, what is Sapling? I don't know what Sapling is there, Jake Crow. So guys, we're going to DTEC Arayo's stream after this. Make sure to uh, put your link in there, DTEC, so people got it. But guys, we're gonna fire this up. This is the Varus Miner. Starting miner, connecting the Stratum CPU and GPU miner with support for mining VRFC and other various hash coins. Who are we mining to right now? We're mining to the, the devs. Worker, target set, received. I'm probably gonna start dropping frames here in a second. Getting 3.7, 4.8 sols. What are we mining on? Are we mining on the CPU right now? What's our CPU doing? What's going on? I don't understand. We're mining on thread zero. Says nice hash on stratum. Yeah, it's mining Equihash EU nice hash. What? What's it mining with? Because there's my CPU. And it says CPU in the Windows too. CPU starting on thread zero. This is thread zero, right? That's the first one. I don't. It doesn't look like anything's happening. Yes, Nick. Your heat. The CPU is built into the GPU now. I'm like, I'm confused. Guys, we're mining right now, apparently, to somebody somewhere. And we're also live streaming, and my computer's not lagging out at all. Um, which, what? I don't understand what the heck this thing's doing. And whatever, and like, there's no load, really, on any of the cores. Just a little bit of load that, like, what's normally going on. The GPU's not doing nothing. 16%? That's potatoes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm closing this out. Yeah, it takes you to uh, the nice hash equihash miner windows dot zip. See that down below? Not the various coin windows miner is, and then this one the nice hash equihash miner Linux. Last bit mining. Did you set the mining program to an exclusion in Windows Defender? Um, I have this Defender turned totally off. Um, so everything, my whole hard drive is excluded. But got, yeah, and this is the original um, unzipped program right here. 
not n h e q minor windows dot zip nice hash echo hash minor dot exe that's just a nice that's an echo hash minor through nice hash copy link address paste it up here github.com various coin nice hash echo hash minor release can we just go back to like like this one Huh. Let's go back. Let's see here. Releases. Various coin. Nice hash. Echo hash miner. I don't get it. Yeah. I I don't. I guess this maybe it works with nice hash like is an extension i have no idea i thought it was its own independent thing like I, I just pulled it straight off of their website and it doesn't say anything about nice hash up here and i didn't even know cpus could really do anything on on equihash is there any comments on this no there's Nobody said anything. I don't get it. Um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll we'll put this on the back burner because I don't I don't even know what it's doing. Let's see here. Shane checked out one of their pools and they reading like two tear hash. So I don't think the CPU mining anymore. Jeff Key shady. Lots of A's in that shady right there. But yeah, something something is afoot. Um, so I'm so glad I'm on my new system that literally the only thing that's on here is just like YouTube stuff. Holy smokes. So yeah, now I don't keep any of my money and stuff like that on this system anymore for those kinds of reasons. Because something's not right with that. Uh, something right there. I don't know. Quantify mining. Sapling is mobile integration of ZK Snarks, I think. Double check and look at Zcash, Zcash roadmap. Philip Rover. Check out their Discord. Philip Rover. You know what? We could do that. We could do that for sure. Let's we'll see here. Mm, Discord. Continue to Discord. Join Veriscoin. We'll uh, close that. Alrighty. I'll come over here. Where are we at? I lost it. I lost track of it. There we go. Various coin. Bam. Uh, so let's go to a general discussion. Hello. Could anyone help me get started mining the Varus? Is that how you spell it? Var Varus. They have threads on Reddit R GPU mining from September. I have no doubt that they're probably legitimate. It's just when you download their, their miner from their website, it starts mining to nice hash. What? Alright, so there was a guy in here talking like 20 minutes ago. Will I get a response? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I was hoping we'd get a response a little faster than that. Okay, so since... Uh, we'll just leave that alone. And uh, we'll check that out later. But, um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen... Robert Burns, I agree, weird. Maybe you need a batch file to change. That's what I was thinking, but like inside that folder, there's nothing in there. Just uh, executable, executable. TH, what's up, Brandon? Uh, what is up, TH? We're actually coming up to the tail end of the stream. We're at 50 minutes. Uh, we will be jumping over to DTech or Ryo's stream after this, so make sure you have his channel um, and go check it out. 
Uh, Yajnik said, sent you a link on Discord. Interesting read. Well, let's go over that before we end the stream for sure. I'm not going to, well, there we go. Let me pull this off so I don't, I don't show any, any stuff and things. Let's see, where are we at? Yajnik, there we go. And here's the link. Hundred and eighty three million in Ethereum moved with point zero six cents fee instantaneously better than banks. Oh yeah. A multi million dollar worth of transaction that could have cost senders over five million in commissions on legacy systems was made with six cents on Ethereum. The Ethereum block of that big number went through 5,080 confirmations and took over over 19 hours to transfer more than 183 million without having to go through expensive intermediaries. The scene is pretty typical to those who transfer value on the blockchain on a regular basis. Yeah, you know, normal stuff. But simultaneously, it is a clear uh, attestation. Oh man, another word. Attestation for one of the blockchain's most killer applications, remittance. Atte C. Attestation. A legacy no, payment stop. System like stop. Okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, a legacy payment system like PayPal, after removing the remittance limit, should have transferred $183 million by charging a $5.3 million transaction fees in average east to west payment corridor. Western Union. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, they're... Of course, blockchain's killing the game on, on mover, moving money. Blockchains see lower adoption rates compared to PayPal and Western Union because the tokens transferred on these blockchains are volatile. Therefore, 183 million transaction while on its way to receivers could re get reduced to 170. It could even gain a few million pounds if the market is acting bullish. It makes decentralized assets a little untrustworthy for participants looking for a stable remittance. Yeah, it is. It is definitely a little volatile. So, okay, awesome. Thank, uh, thank you for that, Yajnik. Uh, awesome read there. And I will post the link down below if anybody wants to check it out. Actually, the link will be in the live chat bar. Yeah, Jeff Key. Yeah, we you know we move we move millions on the blockchain every day like normal stuff, normal stuff. You know, Savage Mind. That's from ETH to ETH. Imagine doing it from ETH to BTC or any other Aeon compliant blockchain. Mmm, Savage Mind's thinking, putting his noodle there. Uh, old school gamers, what's up, bro? Welcome to the chat. We're actually gonna be ending the stream. Uh, we're coming up on the last couple minutes, so if anybody wanted to get anything in before the end of it, uh, DTEC posted his link down below. We will be jumping over to DTEC stream here in a second. Let me, oh no, no, go back. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Clicked the wrong thing for sure. Um, let's see here. YouTube.com. Brennan Coin live pause where are we at DTEC there we go click on that starting in six minutes so yeah oh I'm, I'm. see these these guys right here first I beat them I beat them all nobody said first yep see I was the first one to say first so that means I was first um, guys so thank you for hanging out uh, we're going to jump over to the DTEX side of the world, and um, I'm going to go ahead and leave him a, a thumbs up because, yeah, got got to help out help out the community for sure. Um, and for that, <laughs> old school gamer X, LOL. He's, he's LOLing right there. Uh, Y'all have a good night. I appreciate you. I'll see you 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, back to normal. D -tech. I was first, but you didn't say first D Tech, so I was actually I was the first one to say first, so that means I was first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chris Riley, have you run into Nvidia cannot continue driver issue? Uh, yeah, pretty pretty common issue there. Um, 
a lot of times you'll run into that if you have an old install of Windows. The best thing I can do or advise you to do um, is to go ahead and <laughs> Jeff Key with the first um, put a fresh copy of Windows on an SSD, install your drivers, uh, install your miner, and then run it. Chris Riley, that, that's a good way to start. Or if you have a, a little backup system that you can throw SMOS on or a Linux mining operating system. That way you can just plug and play and make sure you don't have a graphics card or a hardware issue. Um, <laughs> oh man, quantify mining. Hi, Brandon's live stream. I'm famous. <laughs> Mine Raven coin. Yeah, so. J. Crow, hey, what was that video about Aeon sent you on Reddit? Uh, J. Crow mining, JT mining, that was from Pro Trader Mike. That's going to be coming up here soon shortly all right we'll be checking checking it out aeon's making moves don't want to get left for sure so yeah guys gals ladies and gentlemen it is uh it's time to go i'll see y'all over on d tech adios peace out boom bye you gotta go you ain't gotta go home you just gotta leave here you can't stay here what i don't know you know what i'm saying feel me i need a fresh mountain dude too this one's getting a little dry Mm-hmm. Whew. Oh, we got 17 people waiting. See, this is how you get them hyped up right here. You got to draw the Homer Simpson head, which is like a parentheses, uh, underscore, and then you go an eight, uh, parentheses. Yeah, there you go. The Homer Simpson right there. D-Tech in the house. All right, guys, so... Adios. Have a good night. Peace.